Hi friends, welcome to my channel. If you are watching for the first time, please subscribe my channel. Today's topic is MRP type PD. MRP type PD is a demand based MRP type. We have to run this scenario if we have demand like sales orders. There is no forecasting data or consumption values with MRP type PD. Now I will show you SAP how we will configure this MRP type. First we have to create one finished rule. And finish rule as we have said there is no need of sales view. Yes, when there is a need of sales view and no need of purchasing view and MRP value. Workshop building with general storage and accounting view. Select your respective plant and respective store location. Enter. Um, finish button. Here yeah, availability check must be there, transportation rule and loading rule. In here yeah, MRP type should be PD and MRP group double zero two zero which is for make to order and MRP controller and load size EX. Here procurement type should be E, which is for in-house production. We are preparing in plant only this material that is called zero five is the plan and then the scheduling key. So the accounting valuation class is nine two zero and standard class fine. Okay, we created a finished material which is fourteen. Fourteen is the initial material. Now we will create one raw material for finished product. There is no need of sales fee here. We need purchasing here. And a bit of Amazon. Uh, material uh, finish or okay yeah. enter your purchase in group MRP type here we have to enter PD and here MRP group also double zero two zero which is for make to order make to order triple zero and multiple X Lot size here procurement should be F, yeah, which is for external procurement. Zero triple zero is the schedule and enter. Okay. Enter our valuation class. So we are we created the raw material also, which is number 15. 15 is the raw material. Now we will create form for finishing material. CS01. 14 is our material. SCZ1. Item category should be L. Here, for one finished item, we have required five raw materials. That's why I am entering five quantity. Just for one finished item, we have required five raw materials. Now I create a bomb also. Now we will check the stock. 
MD04 for finished item. There is no requirement also, there is no stock also. And check raw material also. There is no availability and no check. Now we will create the demand in the form of sales order. VA01 is the creation of sales order. Order type over. Sales organization will enter your respective details. Select one of your customers. This was created in your company for testing. For my finishing material is 14. I want order quantity 100 for plant SVZ1. Okay, just save it. The sales order also created, which is 20170. Two zero one seven zero is the sales order. Okay, now we will check the top requirement MD zero four for finished uh, item. Okay, there is a hundred requirement for sale. Now check 15 raw material. Is there any requirement? There is no requirement for raw material. Now we will run MD02, which is the planning for finishing the item we are running. Just center. Two plan orders are created. Now we will go and search MD04 for finished product. There is one plan order created. Now for raw material, there is one plan order also created. Here, 500 quantity is is required because in the bomb building of materials we enter for one finished product we want five raw materials in sales order there, there is a requirement for 100 quantity so 100 into 5 500 is the requirement for production now just okay here only we can convert this planned order into purchase requisition and just save it Double purchase requisition will be created. Now, just we will create this PIVA also with the help of this purchase organization and we 21 and the center of the center from Nanma. Just save it. And do the micro also. We are doing micro for raw material. Purchase order. 500 should be. We are posting. Okay, now we will check the stock MMBE. See, there is a 500 in unrestricted use, which are in sales for the stock. Okay, now we again go for MD04 for our finished requirement. Finishing material is 14. 
we already observed that there is a planned order is created. We can convert them into production order. There is some routing process for you there. We, we are, we cannot doing here. And just generate operation, we have to click. Total quantity 100, just save it. Production order is also created. So triple zero one three just save for further reference. Production order also created. Here purchase is also, also created and it will already done with this also. Now we observe this stock. See the difference. Five hundred should be reserved for sales order for production order. Now the next step is we have to release our production order, which is in PS02. Sorry, PO02 is the release. We can release here on this in just click this green plan and just save it. Okay, after production release, we have to issue the goods for production. Now go for my go. Select goods issue. Go to RI order. Enter your production order number and production order. And the movement type is 261. Enter. Quantity, how much are we are issuing? 500. Where we are so storage location F1. So fifty one at the moment now. Item number now we are checking. Okay, we are posting. So we are done with good, good issue. Now we will check the stock. If this should be zero. If there is no stock here. Now go for production. Finish it good. How much stock will be there? If there is a no stock here. Now the next step is we have to confirm our production order. Through CO15 is the transaction code. Enter your purchase order. Sorry, production order. The quantity we have to we are confirming is 100. Just enter the number here and just save it. So we are confirming the production order. Now we will do good receipt. My go. Good receipt with the help of of zero eight order enter your production order number here. Okay. Quantity is hundred where total location is X one. Check post. Okay. Now we have We have a stock here, 100 here. See, there is a 100 in unrestricted use, which are ready for sales order stock. Then sales or people will come and do the further stuff, which is the generate out outbound delivery. After that, uh, goods issue. Here is the sales order cycle. After the sales order, there is already stock is available in production. Then outbound delivery, transportation, goods, pickup, issuing, then billing, and payment process. This is the cycle of FD, sales and distribution. For our knowledge, this much is enough. So,
If you like my video, please subscribe my channel and please support me. I will share more new concepts like uh, how advanced procurement in SAP MM, my next video. So many new topics will be covered here. Thanks for watching my videos and please subscribe my channel.